In 1903, the Wright brothers invented this airplane behind me, Kitty Hawk, the very first motorized airplane. But did you realize that the wheelchair was invented in 1595? However, those two haven't gone hand in hand when it comes to air travel. That's where Michelle Irwin has stepped in. She created All Wheels Up, an initiative to get wheelchairs on airplanes without having to transfer. And she's brought some of the biggest names in the airline industry, along with some of the top designers, to try to make sure that wheelchairs can go on on planes without having to transfer. I have a son with spinal muscular atrophy and I learned really quickly how difficult it was to travel with someone who uses a wheelchair and I knew that change could happen. I have a wheelchair accessible minivan and we, we locked down my son's wheelchair in that van and I just thought, well, why can't the most technologically advanced machinery in the whole wide world, the airplane, why cannot, cannot that be wheelchair accessible. And so I just started doing research and learned that it could be possible. Being able to take our wheelchairs on board is like a game changer. I mean, travel for me would be so much easier. In fact, I at this point, because of the physical harm that um, I've been subjected to, especially the older I get and the longer it takes me to heal, I really fear flying every time I get on an airplane. I just uh, am afraid. So in my own airport, um, they had a, a trained person behind me, but the person in front wasn't trained properly. Um, when that individual went to lift my legs, they actually kicked the aisle chair over, still bringing me over towards the aisle chair. When the aisle chair wasn't there, sh that person let go, at which point the person behind me couldn't hold me, and they dropped me to the jetway. It ended up, that ended up fracturing my tailbone. I had to have three quarters of my tailbone removed, and I also spent more than 10 weeks on antibiotics that's only supposed to last for six. So I was close to death's door, all because I got dropped by an airline. Um, when I called the airline in the hospital and let them know what was going on, they denied anything because I didn't let them know immediately that I was injured and should have been taken to the hospital immediately. The way I look at it is more industry, technology has enabled more people with disabilities to be part of our society and able to have expendable income, to travel the world, to do all the things that everyone else can do in any way that our products or our airplanes and all the infrastructure can help make that a reality is highly important. And obviously I've seen a huge growth in that area. I've flown a lot with zero accessibility and now I've actually enjoyed flying internationally and being able to utilize some of the features and be able to travel and feel like I can do that anytime I want. Michelle's initiative is proposing that airlines restructure areas on the plane to allow the passenger who has difficulty transferring stay in their own chair for the duration of the flight and the airline executives are listening. We, we are a for-profit company, but uh, you know we also know how important this is to our customer base, and so uh, we feel like it's really the right thing to do to you know be a part of the conversation, um, find out um, what work's being done, uh, and and also listen to uh, members of the community who reflect our customer. As a motivational speaker, I fly around the country a lot, and it was important for me to tell my story and to give them an opportunity to see firsthand what someone with a disability goes through when they fly. If you don't have a and it gets destroyed or messed up, those parts are going to take a long time. You may not have that backup chair, or you may not be rich enough to have a second wheelchair. So that's why this initiative is so important for what Michelle is doing, to be able to educate everyone but also to, to teach everything so sympathy. My family hasn't been on an airplane in seven years because it's just too dangerous for us to travel with my son. Now, I travel all the time, but I have not traveled as a family in seven years. Right now, we're an all-volunteer, um, grassroots nonprofit doing really, really big work. I think we could be up there with any um, other advocacy group organization that stands on their own and funds big work. You know, we operate like a cure-based nonprofit. So we're, a, you know, cure-based is funding, um, you know, cures. We're just funding solutions, but it's the same thing. So, you know, you wouldn't ask the NIH to fund all of the research for, say, cancer. So why are we expecting the FAA to fund fund all of the research for this. So it turns out it's not rocket science for what Michelle Irwin and All Wheels Up is trying to do. If these heads of the airlines and all the designers can get together and make this happen, it's going to be a great day for all those with a disability 
getting her wheelchair on an airplane. At the Museum of Flight in Seattle, I'm Dave Stevens for Ability Media.